Today we're going to do some holiday shopping at TJ Maxx. Haven't been here in a while. Let's see what kind of deals they got. I know a lot of you guys were wanting us to check out TJ Maxx. So me and Jess usually come to TJ Maxx about once a year, uh, maybe twice a year to do some Christmas shopping. They have some, usually have some random deals in here of things that you can't find at other places. So. Look who I found. Hello. <laughs> So we can't film anything in our cart because we are buying Christmas presents, but we are going to look at some of the deals going on and see what they got here. A lot of stuff here at TJ Maxx, 10% uh, off today when you open a TJX rewards credit card. I don't know if that's something people want to do. This is another one of those stores where you just got to kind of look around and see what they have. Uh, I feel like they have new stuff here every week. Coconut body lotion, that might kill me. I'm allergic to coconut. Like I said, you really just want to kind of look around TJ Maxx. They kind of just throw everything on shelves. Uh, they do have a lot of toys in the back here that we're going to check. So while Jess is over there shopping for a couple people, I thought I'd come over to see some of the toys and stuff that they have out here. Do you got to check the prices? I don't know if some of this stuff is cheaper at other places. I know that Big Lots sells a lot of these Discovery things. So, like this right here, this is $8 for this. I don't know if it would be cheaper at Big Lots. Maybe more, I really don't know. Uh, I know a lot of people like TJ Maxx. Hey, check that out. Slinky Dog. How much is this? 20 bucks? I don't know. Jess was just saying the, the one bad thing about this place is kind of what I was talking about before. It's all just kind of thrown up here on tables. So you, you really just have to come and look and check out, see if they have the right kind of deals that you're looking for. This is a cool uh, stunt car here. Apparently it like flips over and stuff. 20 bucks, I don't know. Might be able to find that cheaper. I could have sworn I saw some at Big Lots that were like $9.99. I will say though, they do have a ton of toys. I mean, a lot of toys. It looks like these X-Shot things are pretty cool. I don't see where there's a price. Oh, here we go, $16.99. That's a pretty big uh, Nerf style gun for $16.99. Let's see how much this big bad boy is. Looks like all the price tags are on the back. This one's $20, but man, it comes with a lot of stuff. This is like a little mini gun. You could win the war with this. Baby Yoda drone. <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool. Let's flip it around here. Boy, it feels really light. Really light. There's no price on it. I don't see a price. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Oh, here we go. $49.99, 50 bucks. But I will say for a drone, that's $50. This feels very light. Like, I don't know how well it would... Don't know how well this one would do. I got this little Mandalorian Baby Yoda helicopter for $15.99. I would almost rather buy that than this because it's less money. And if it's going to be light, this looks like something that would be, I don't know, more fun to play with. Plus, I don't know... If this drone, yeah, I don't think, don't know if this has a camera on it or not. Just kind of scoping some things out here, seeing if you guys see anything you like that TJ Maxx has. I can't go over everything. These uh, Disney Princess, I wonder how much this is. Uh, boy, these price tags are in some real weird spots. Always on the back. 20 bucks. Uh... Yeah, I don't know. Oh, they got a uh, Cinderella there. A better, better picture there. 20 bucks with the accessories and stuff. That's eh, probably not that bad a deal. And they got a lot of different princesses here, too. They got Elsa. They got this little Olaf here. Uh, looks like Aurora, Sleeping Beauty. Or no, I'm sorry. That's uh, with the hair. What's her name? Rapunzel. I know a lot of people were saying... You know, toys were going to be scarce this year. This might be another option. They do have a lot of toys here. I mean, tons. Walls and walls of toys. They have all these uh, younger kids toys here. A little boat. Little pushy things. A rotary phone. <laughs> it's just all over the place here, guys. All over the place. You got little toolkits. I used to love these when I was a kid. Act like Dad. Have my own... My own tool set, no price. You really need to get prices on these because, you know, how else are you going to know how much it is? You don't want to have to just put a bunch of stuff in the cart and then find out what the price is when you go up there. 
I know it's been hard to find pet food and I'm sure they don't sell regular pet food in here, but they do have like little treats and stuff, uh, mostly for dogs. I don't see any for cats. Um, yeah, good they got it. Well, if you need pillows, it looks like they have every pillow that you could possibly imagine, <laughs> even the doublers. Again, they don't have prices out here, so you pretty much just gotta look at each item. Okay, two of these pillows. Ooh, those feel nice. $30 for both these pillows, but those feel like the, the nice fabric ones, the luxury knit. Martha Stewart, that's why. <laughs> Actually, that's probably not a too bad of a price for a couple pillows of Martha Stewart. I could tell just by feeling that. You know how it's always hard to find this stuff nowadays, like these throw pillows? Uh, I'm. This is awesome because we need like couch pillows and stuff. These are cool. Something to put up against your chair if you got a big chair like I do to kind of rest your back. But they, they do. They have all kinds of throw pillows here. You know, some of them are pretty expensive. $35. I don't know. This this might be something we would find a big loss. This one ain't too bad. I don't know if I like the material. Ooh, it's a feather pillow. Wow. I didn't know they still made those. Hello. <laughs> Jess is Christmas shopping, so I'm trying to kind of keep my distance because I don't want to accidentally show stuff in the cart. I would edit it out, but hey, Jess, I got some of these uh, Hallmark ornaments over here. Good old Forky. Got Winnie the Pooh there. You got some nice holiday stuff, you know? And I will say again, like, I'm already seeing, like, it seems like this is stuff that you not you wouldn't find at other stores, like this, like this penguin cookie jar. <laughs> I mean, you might. I'm not really sure, but uh, a lot of these holiday mugs and stuff. Or no, I'm sorry. This is a candle with a candle holder. $12.99. Smells like peppermint. Yeah. Tis the season. Got all these nice little decorative Christmas dishes and stuff. The most wonderful time of year. Here's a nice pillow. Let's see. 20 bucks? Yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm not finding really any great deals here. No. You know? I mean, not like there used to be. I found these cups. <laughs> is that Mickey? Yes. That is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see these over here? The uh, these ornaments. I wonder how much these ornaments are usually pretty expensive. And a lot of stuff. Yeah. Okay. So they do have pricing on them. So these were seven fifty at Walmart. They're six ninety nine here. The Toy Story ones. Which I guess for a Hallmark product, that's not bad because you know Hallmark ornaments well, are pretty expensive. Ten bucks for the Hallmark ornament at Walmart. Which one was it? The Oough. Oh yeah, they got some some snow globes. This looks looks pretty cheap. I don't know though. If you like unicorns, I mean, wouldn't the unicorn be like colorful? What do you got there? Hold on, show it over here so I don't show the card. Whoa! It's a big mixing bowl, I guess. Yeah. How much is that? It's twelve ninety nine. Okay. Well. Anything that has Mickey Mouse on it for less than $20, I guess, is a good deal. I do like these little trees here. These little decorative trees. Let's see. $25. Sheesh. Man. I don't know. I feel like I feel like a lot of this stuff is more expensive than it's ever been. We got different uh, holiday chocolates. Never tried those before. I gotta be really careful with these though, because sometimes you'll have coconut in them and I can't eat coconut. Looks like this box has seen better days. Gluten free Italian specialty cake. Never had it. What'd you find here? This cool bowl. Oh. Hey, you could put like the cookies you make in there. And it has this thing. Oh, is that a soup bowl? It's a big bowl of soup. I don't know what it's essentially for, but. But it's got one of it's them things where you can like... microwave. Yeah, like leftovers. Put a bunch of leftovers in there and heat it up. How much is that? $7.99. Okay, so that's that's probably the best deal I've seen since we've been in here. <laughs> Just found something pretty cool here. Yeah. That is awesome. I wish they had, like, Donald. It's just Mickey and Minnie. Yeah. They're glass. How much is that? It's $12.99. That's a good deal. Okay. That ain't bad. I feel like if we got this plate, 
Jess wouldn't let me eating, eat anything on it. <laughs> She'd be a Grinch. No. Found these nice little signs here. Let's see how much that is. $12.99. $12.99. That's ridiculous. I could get something very similar at Hobby Lobby or anywhere, probably cheaper than that. Do have a lot of cookware. I don't know. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I don't know if these are good prices or not. So I don't really want to. Here's a cast iron skillet. $12.99. That's, that don't seem like too bad of a deal. But this is very thin. Very thin cast iron. And they do have a bunch more skillets. Sorry, I'm trying to make it sound as interesting as possible. I really... Looking at a lot of these prices off camera, I was kind of surprised. I thought things would be a lot cheaper. They seem like they've gone up over the years big time. Here's something interesting. Different kinds of little sauces and spices from around the world. Uh, obviously not that Martha Stewart extract, but a lot of stuff that you probably wouldn't find in a lot of places. At some point or another, we are going to visit Jungle Gyms where we will have a lot more of these kind of things, which is pretty awesome. Himalayan salt. Okay. All these different black pepper shakers and stuff. Yeah, I don't really know about many of these brands either, but I thought this was cool. Well, if you need a fancy paper towel roll, they got a ton of them. <laughs> what is this, marble? That is marble. A marble paper towel roll with a cheap piece of wood in the middle of it. Ten bucks? Oh, okay, well. I mean, it looks cool, but it is weird that you would use a piece of marble here and then, I don't know, weird piece of wood. I feel like not one of these candles is made from the same company, but I have smelled a few of them and they are pretty nice. Um, this was probably my favorite. This is $12.99 for this huge candle and this glass candle holder, so that's probably not too bad of a deal. I got some more over here. Just weird random stuff all over the place. Really not liking these prices though for the most part. So Jess just pointed out that they have a bag of Joffrey's coffee, which is a special Disney coffee. Sometimes they have Does more, it look like it's open or is there another place? I'm plastic? not sure. I can't tell. I think that might just be like a break thing, maybe? Nope. It's open. Oh, okay. It is open. Wow. That figures. Surprisingly it smells good for Lord knows how long it's been open. Well, that's what I'm saying. Somehow it traveled from Disney to, to here. That way? No, I squeezed it and smelled it. I know, but that's what I mean. Is it? Oh, is that to just smell like it? a scent thing? I don't know, but if there's air getting in there, that means the grounds are bad. I'm not gonna waste my money on it. How much is it? Six uh, ninety. Well, I feel like that's a that's the one thing at Disney that's not that expensive though. I don't right? remember how much it costs. I mean, maybe a little more than that if you're at Disney World, but not much. They do have some more. Uh, Random snacky things here. Hey, look at these. Got some biscottis. Is that what those are? Or just dry bread? I do like biscottis. Some weird snacks they got here. Weird random things. Out of nowhere, we got some giant olives. I feel like maybe a bartender or a local chef might come in here to get some of this stuff. Maybe. Maybe. Avocado oil. Joffrey's coffee at Disney World is one of the best coffees I've ever had. I should have bought some when we were down there. I didn't. I don't know why. Got lots of games here in the middle of the store. I mean, it's. I saw this same thing way over there in the toys. All kinds of cool stuff, but like I said, you may want to check the prices here. Did you see this, Jess? Train, Trainopoly. Weird. Got the Polar Express. Oh, it's Polar Express, Opoly. Yeah. That's cool. Fifteen dollars. Not too bad for a Monopoly game. Wait, how much is it? Fourteen ninety nine. Yeah. But uh, they do have those different meme games over there. I know these aren't cheap. Seventeen dollars, but that's probably cheaper than what you would pay at like Target or something. Just found this giant stitch blanket here. It's probably the coolest thing I've seen in here. It's twenty five dollars. But hey, you know what? It's real soft. It's got stitch on it. It's Disney. I feel like that's no excuse, though. I feel like that would be the same price everywhere, except for maybe Disney World. Uh, a lot of stuff here is just not as good a price as I thought it would be. And seeing of what a lot of the clothes are, that 10% off for that credit card thing doesn't seem like that great of a deal. Unless you shop here all the time, maybe they'll have better deals as Christmas comes along. Up here, 
at the front they have some harry potter stuff i mean i don't know if they're deals this is a deck of cards for five dollars but it's got harry potter on it some puzzles and magnets magnetic dartboard do have some themed out glasses or you know coffee mugs how much that is twenty five dollars twenty five dollars i mean that's what i would pay for something like that at kohl's you know i probably get a deal i don't know guys this is this is crazy everything i pick up i'm just shocked by how much this is now this is two ohio state thirty dollars thirty dollars so you would pay fifteen dollars a piece if you were giving those away to somebody there's some Bengal stuff 2022 daily calendar seven dollars well okay that's i don't know some of this stuff is kind of weird but oh here we go little ohio state uh pet toy oh okay chew toys <laughs> it was one of those things that's saying i'm trying to squeeze the button well if anybody's going camping or caving during the winter time you can get a giant led headband for 5.99 actually i don't that's not too bad of a deal that's that's pretty big I'm literally running out of cool stuff to show you, if you have not noticed. Do have some razors here. Okay, so here's a Remington razor. Uh, just trying to do some price comparisons at this point of things I know. 20 bucks. Okay, so you can get the same thing at Walmart for $20, but it comes with a bunch of accessories and all that stuff. That is, it comes with a couple, the nose thing, but I don't know. I feel like mine was better and I got a better deal. Here's a Barbasol razor. Uh, no price. Oh, okay. $15. Well, but again, though, that feels real light. Real light. Like, it ain't going to work too long. Plus, I've never heard of a Barbasol razor before. I know the shaving cream. Found something interesting here. This little Harry Potter gift set. Let's see how much this is. $200. No, okay. $17. That don't seem too bad. Comes with a little coffee mug or tea mug, pen, and a book. Eh, I don't know. I don't know. For that price, though, I know Jess likes certain other things of Harry Potter that I won't discuss because she's right next to me. <laughs> that I may or may not have already bought. But yeah, guys, this, I don't know. I don't know. I know a lot of people like TJ Maxx. I'm trying not to hound it too bad here, but no kidding. I mean, the prices seem like they're at least the same as other bigger stores, and I haven't found really anything that is that really stands out as a great deal. First of all, I don't know what brand this is, Evo Automatic Vacuum Cleaner, but it is $150. Now, I know that the Roombas are not cheap, but... Roomba is the only one that I ever hear about and everybody loves them. I'm just afraid that I would spend $150 on this and it would have problems or not go back to the docking station or something like that. I would never get one of those anyway, but for 150 bucks, that's not Roomba. I don't think I would ever buy it. Jess really wants us to play rummy with these elf cards. So it's happening. Also, this might be the best price that I've Hello, seen. So we are back from TJ Maxx. I gotta say, you know, it's a pretty neat place. It really is. Um, we did notice that the prices, I don't know. We didn't see any really great deals. They may not be able to, they may be giving the best deals they can. I really don't know. Uh, TJ Maxx is a place that you have to just go check out for yourself. Um, we did find some Christmas presents. Just thought they that they were pretty decent deals on the stuff we got. You just gotta kind of look around. It's one of those stores... Uh, besides the clothes, the clothes seem like they're in pretty well order. Also, most of the people that were in there were shopping for clothes. Uh, that's what I noticed. There were a couple people shopping for toys, but most people were there for clothing. So clothing might be something that is a lot cheaper. Uh, that wasn't something really that we were focusing on, more of the toys and appliances, uh, kitchenware, stuff like that. Um, and it didn't, nothing really uh, stood out to me. Uh, there are a couple, like, random things. Jess was saying, like, you know, it, it's it's hit or miss everywhere in there. I thought that a lot of the toys that they had seemed a little pricey. Um, I've been looking at a lot of different things. I've been to a lot of stores lately. And a lot of those same kind of toys I have felt um, are better prices at other places. The March to Christmas begins. We will be checking out a lot of deals 
trying to find the best deals for you guys on food, toys, just about everything. Any kind of good deals that we see, we're going to show you guys. Uh, it was fun. It was fun to get out, go to TJ Maxx. Haven't been there. Uh, I, don't, I don't even think we went there last year. Probably been a couple years since we've been there. Uh, I remember the last time we went, uh, it seemed like there was a lot more better deals. I will say they have a lot of stuff. They have a ton of stuff. I couldn't film everything. Um, and that's one of the hard things is the prices. I feel like they, if they're going to have price tags like that, they should put it right on the front of the box because it makes it easy. You can just look at it. You don't have to pick it up, turn it around, look to the sides. They do kind of just put the stickers everywhere, and that, that makes it a little complicated. Just put it in the top right-hand corner, make it easy for everybody. But uh, other than that, you know, it was fun. We did pick up a few Christmas items. Got a few things for us, too. We got a uh, towel rack for our bathroom. With all that being said, thank you so much for watching the video. I'm out, and always remember the adventure. <laughs>